have you taken out your fall decor and it looks a little old and tired and maybe things don't match and maybe a little too orange? Do you want something new and fresh? Maybe a little more simple and neutral? Hi, I'm Bonnie Overman. I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope my channel will inspire you to learn more, do more, and be more at any age with style and on a budget. And in case you're wondering, I'll be 70 years old next year. So today is a video in a series of fall theme videos, fall decor, different kinds of styles and that you can use in your dining room or you can use throughout your house. So without further ado, I would like to show you today's theme, fall decor theme, and I call it boho style. Let's do it. This is black, white, and boho. So as an inspiration, the fabric and that little bench, and I know you don't have to say it, it's way too high for the table to be a centerpiece, but this would be really cute on the mantle. Let's take a look at that. I got that at Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. So when I'm gonna do a theme like this too, I always kind of look at what are the things, what are the different things that um, contribute to a theme? So the boho theme. So to me, it's succulents, tribal prints, natural looking um, items, and kind of a Southwest feeling. So let's look at the ingredients of my table. Again, I started with that tribal print and I do want to show you here I just took it and folded a piece of fabric across the table and then laid my burlap on top because otherwise it was very busy that's a lot of print so it looks almost like it's a trim on the table runner this is my burlap table runner from my last table I did And what I've used for my centerpiece is some neutral picks. And then I always think of succulents when I think of the boho style. So I put one on each side, added some corn husks, and of course my white painted pumpkins and some antlers on either side. That really brightens up the table and then I added the beads that everybody has and you know what I think on second thought I probably should have painted those black but I didn't want to commit to black but that would look good it would pick up the black from the table setting and I've used my same candle holders there the black um, wood ones and my crystal glass so let's take a look at the actual place setting. So again, we're seeing that same woven mat. Love that mat. It, it's a nice contrast against the dark wood. And then I use that leather-like charger for some texture and darkness and the white plate. Made a napkin from the fabric I, I told you about, the tribal fabric, and just tied a bow on it. I used the silverware from the last table along with the glasses from the last table. So this is my third table I'm showing you. I will be showing you two more. And I think now you're starting to see that investing in black and white plates, a good woven mat, some nice different tone chargers and clear glass votive holders and candle holders, and of course, the dark um, wooden candle holders here are such a great investment because as you can see, they go in any theme, any time of the year. And that was one of my things I wanted to show you. You invest once and you use them over and over again. So this was a last minute put together and this is my black and white 
boho fall table. You can use this for your decor if you wanted to. Again, on a kitchen island or on a mantle.